This video is a collaboration with Opera Vision. It is a wonderful platform, especially now that we are all stuck at home, on which you can watch full-length operas for free! Yeah. Alright, Nabucco baby, let's talk about this masterpiece. was lame. It is an opera by Giuseppe, our dear friend Giuseppe Verdi. The story is set in Jerusalem in the year 586 before Christ. I know, it's quite precise. The priests and the people of Jerusalem, well in this staging there are immigrants, refugees, caught on an army boat. So the priest and the people of Jerusalem are crying because their city has fallen into the hands of Na... Na Nabucco, Nabucodonosor. It's not the name of a dinosaur, it's the king of Babylon. Everyone is calling him Nabucco for the street cred. These guys start praying for their temple to be spared because this Nabucco slash Godzilla is coming to destroy it. Then, are you ready for the love story? This guy, Ismael, fell in love with this girl, Fenena who happens to be the daughter of Nabucco. They are on opposite sides because Ismael is a Hebrew. Finena is in the temple with the rest of them because the Hebrews took her as a hostage. So they start singing a love duet, but... <laughs> They are interrupted by Abigail. Ta -na -na -na. She is Finena's sister and therefore Nabucco's daughter. And she is also in love with Ismael. This is already getting messy. Abigail is quite a badass woman. She arrives with a full troop of Babylon soldiers and she threatens to kill the two lovers. She says to Ismael then she can spare their lives if he says that he loves her back. That's a weak strategy, darling. Then Nabucco arrives to destroy the temple. The priest threatens to kill Fenena if Nabucco destroys the temple. But Nabucco is like, you stupid Hebrews, you've lost, you're done. The priest goes to kill Fenena, but Ismail stops him and takes the dagger. So Nabucco orders to destroy the temple and to put all the Hebrews in jail. <laughs> Nabucco left for war and gave his interim king job to Fenena. Abigail is very jealous because she wanted to be queen regent. The thing is, there is a rumor about Abigail that she would not be the biological daughter of Nabucco, but she would actually be a slave. And now that her father gave the job to Fenena, her younger sister, Abigail is starting to have her doubts and she wants to know the truth. She found the document that proves that she is not Nabucco's daughter and she's a slave. And she is furious. <laughs> she destroys the document and a bunch of guys enter. They go to her because Fenena is currently freeing up all the Hebrews. Therefore, they see Fenena as a traitor and they organize a coup for Abigail to become queen. She jumps on it, of course, because she wants to kill everyone. So, the Hebrews are stuck again and they start cursing Fenena. <laughs> But the 
priest explains that she converted for the love of Ismael, so she is now one of them. Abigail arrives with a bunch of ministers and claims Fenena's crown. At that moment, Nabucco himself arrives and he puts the crown on his head. He dares Abigail to come and get the crown. He makes a big scene out of it. He starts cursing everyone and then whoosh, he is hit by lightning. Non son pure, son pure. Now he's a bit the He's, he gets mad, he starts singing nonsense. And the priest is like, well, God striped the bad guy. Abigail seizes that opportunity and she grabs the crown. Abigail, the new queen, is having a meeting and one of Babylon's priests asks her to kill the Hebrews. Then her daddy arrives and they're having a father-daughter conversation. Abigail takes advantage of him and tricks him into signing the death warrant for all the Hebrews, including Fenena. Fenena, who's the real heir to the throne. Abigail is a smart cookie. And because Nabucco is having episodes, he doesn't realize what he's doing. So he signs it and then he begs her for mercy. It's a very emotional moment. in jail. We are back with the Hebrews who are in chains and that are singing about their lost land and their despair. And now, now is the moment. Now is the hit. You know this, right? If you ever see this in a theater, it's always so emotional. It's a choir that has so much impact that it's like, oh, it's really beautiful. So they sing this beautiful piece, but the priest does not agree. He finds them very gloomy and he predicts the fall of Babylon. Nabucco is in his jail cell and he prays God to save Fenena, who is currently walking towards her execution with the rest of the Hebrews. A loyal minister comes to free up Nabucco and helps him escape. And Nabucco runs to save Fenena. Nabucco arrives at the execution and as he does that, the statue of Babylon's idol is suddenly destroyed by magic. Everyone understands that it's a terrible sign and they stop the execution. All the Hebrews are saved. Ta -da! All the Hebrews, Fenena, and even Nabucco start praying to God to thank him for this miracle. Then Abigail arrives. She felt so guilty that she drank poison and comes to die in front of her family. And the Hebrew priest predicts a long and prosper time for Babylon because Nabucco just converted and he's now also a Jew.